Mix seven liters of clean water with ProRen light base coat until a creamy consistency is achieved. ProRen light is a polymer modified base coat adding superior strength and flexibility to the facade. Using the light base coat, apply 300 by 300 mm stress patches of grade 3 Pro Mesh to all corners of window and door apertures. Now that the boards have been installed, the external angle beads have been attached and stress patches around the windows applied, it's now time to apply the ProRen light base coat. Now once you've laid on your 5 to 6 mm base coat, it's time to go over with the 5 mm notch bat. Fill any voids left in the base coat highlighted by broken notches. Full and broken notches are imperative for a flat, even surface across the plane of the facade. Gently embed Pro Mesh Grade 3 so that it sits on top of the notch base coat. The mesh can be placed horizontally or vertically. Ensure 100mm overlap is achieved each time. Mesh over the window and door apertures and cut out after for ease of application. Now you've applied your light base coat, rough about 5 to 6 mil, used your notch spat, push your mess into the surface. Usually you would leave this now to go off for about two to three hours minimum. Some people leave it 24 hours. Um, just so it picks up, okay? And the next thing you do is you go over with the butter coat. Apply a secondary 1 to 2 mil butter coat of ProRen light base coat over the mesh until the mesh is no longer visible on the surface.
So after you let the product set for a couple of hours, um, we're looking to do the final, final touches on the base coat. Um, so what we're looking to achieve is a nice flat surface because we're only going over the top with a 1.5 mil color text uniform texture. So any of the deviations such as this will need to be removed from the base coat um, else it will grin through on the top coat once applied. So it's quite a simple process. Just to start a spray bottle, a touch of water, coming over with the trowel, pushing it nice and gently to get a nice flat surface. At this stage, don't be afraid to use a little bit of order. ProRen Color Text and Coat Render. It's available in two finishes, Color Text Uniform and Color Text Grained, and can be tinted to over 65,000 colors. Today, we're using African Gray in a 1.5 millimeter uniform finish. Now the base coat is finished, it's flat, it's time for the primer stages. ProRen Color Text is applied in two stages, with a self-coloured primer applied to the base coat with a brush, a roller or spray application. The primer is predominantly used for the colour vibrancy of the top coat. The product has quartz in its composition to act as a bonding aid and it improves the consumption rate of the Colortex Uniform Finishing Coat. So once the base coat's been done and the primer has been applied, now it's time to apply the color text uniform. So when applying this product, you want to be scraping it against the base coat as tight as you can. The product needs to be applied at 1.5 millimeters. If it's a little bit thick, it will start to drag around. But not to worry, once you apply the product and you will go over with your first pass with your float, if you let the float glide over the second pass without any pressure, it should take away the, the drag marks within the render. The color text contains colored aggregates in a silicone binder, providing excellent adhesion and weatherproofing properties. It also contains effective biocides to help preserve its attractive appearance and is perfect for use in coastal areas. The product can be spray finished to suit a variety of different textures using a simple hopper and compressor setup. When applying the Color Text product, it's important to keep a wet edge. Don't stop when rendering an elevation else there could be a chance of scarring due to differential drying times.
Floating can start as soon as the product is applied, but dependent on weather conditions, you have approximately 30 minutes to start the finishing process. Avoid depositing the excess back into the bucket you're using. If you're getting slight drag marks in the finish, don't worry. These can be taken out by gliding the float over the surface of the render without applied pressure. The final finish of Pro War rendered rain screen cladding. A system using render boards over battening to create a cavity, fitted with Pro Bead render beads, slip joints, and fire brakes, developed for timber and steel frame structures. The Pro War system is certified by the BBA and provides a durable and attractive finish.